just a really good hard-fought team victory. And Dave Velasquez said after the game, this was the first game he felt like everybody contributed, everybody that played at a high level. And I think that was the case. Everybody did contribute. Everyone who came off the bench produced, the starters produced, and, you know, it's just uh, you kept waiting for them to make the run because you know how talented they are. And when they finally made it, we were able to withstand it, and that was really, really fun to watch. And Elijah Saunders, I mean, he hit critical threes for us in that stretch. And unafraid, he stepped up, he was open, he let it go, and those were important baskets he made. And we knew they were, you know, dangerous on the break. We didn't want to give them fast breaks. So uh, we did a decent job at that. We still turned the ball over 20 times, but their defense is tough. They put a lot of pressure on you. But we had 20 assists on 29 baskets, which is really good. Uh, we held them to 30-some percent shooting of a field. We shot in the 50s. Uh, rebounding is always an issue with them. Toppin's one of the best rebounders in the conference, if not the best. And I think he had 16 rebounds the first time we played him, and he had seven offensive rebounds this game. So he's a dynamic rebounder, and we worked all week on trying to hit him, keep a body on him, and keep him off the glass, but he is relentless. I thought we had a great defensive game plan uh, by the assistant coaches, put a great game plan together, and the kids followed it basically on a one-day prep and did a really good job. So proud of the whole team, proud of the win. Every time I think it's the best crowd of the year, the next one shows up and it's better. Uh, just a lot of energy in Viejas. Um, you know, that's one of the most ex electric games we've had in there. When we came out today, every seat was filled and ready to go. So that's a credit to our fans getting here and supporting our team. And there's only two undefeated teams in the Mountain West right now at home in the conference, and that's us in Colorado State. So. We're in the shape we're in because we have a great home court advantage and we've, and we've taken advantage of it. You know, it's been a battle with New Mexico these last couple of games, you know, even last year. So we just, you know, had something to prove on our home court. There's some stat they gave us was in the half court. They didn't score us that much at New Mexico, but in transition, they scored a lot of their points. So we emphasized this week just, you know, when we send uh, two guys or three guys to the glass this week, we sent three guys back just so we could stop them in transition, make it a half court game. You know, it got to a point where, you know, I was in the starting lineup, but, you know, I was kind of mentally, you know, it was rough. Um, you know, January was kind of a rough month for me. So, um, you know, just being able to come off the bench, I kind of get to watch the game a little and get a feel for it before I have to, before I have to go in. And, you know, I know going in with, you know, I'm going, probably going in with Miles, who's bringing energy, so I got to match, match that as well. So, you know, it's just, I feel a lot more relaxed coming off the bench. And we'll go to Logan and play for first place on Tuesday. Whether we'll be tied, depending on what happens at Colorado State tomorrow, or we'll be playing a game back, but we'll be playing for first place on Tuesday in Logan. And that's a great place to be at this time of the year.